In this video, we will be demonstrating the use of the Genesis Rescue endotracheal tube. This pack contains a modified endotracheal tube with the posterior facing bevel, curved atraumatic tip and removable 15mm ISO connector. There is also an airway tubing having a fixed 15mm ISO connector at the proximal end and a connector to mate with the distal end of the endotracheal tube. To begin, we have a patient with an airway currently being maintained with a laryngeal mask, in this case an eye gel size 4. In the instance that endotracheal intubation becomes necessary, we can utilise this technique to secure an airway prior to the removal of an LMA. To begin, we connect the endotracheal tube to the reinforced tubing extension. We then attach a self-sealing connector with a sidearm and ideally, we would then advance a fiber optic bronchoscope through the tubing. However, in this video, we will demonstrate using a bougie. We advance the bougie, being careful that the intertube connector does not come apart and we will take it towards the tip of the endotracheal tube. The anesthetic circuit is then removed from the LMA and the tubing set is advanced through the air passage. Once the vocal cords are visualized through the bronchoscope, it can then be advanced through the cords and the tubing is then railroaded over the bronchoscope and the cuff is inflated. The airway has now been secured with an ETT and the patient can now be ventilated. The fiber optic bronchoscope can then be removed and holding the tube steady, the laryngeal mask can also be railroaded over the tubing until it is no longer in the mouth. The connector between the ETT and the airway tubing can be detached and the spare 15mm connector can be used to ventilate the patient. The airway tubing extension is removed from the top of the LMA we have now converted from an LMA to an ETT with limited interruption to ventilation using the Genesis Rescue endotracheal tube.